Hello everyone. If you have followed my dice tutorial, then you can take that model and animate the dice like so. So you can see that uh, the dice has been rolled and you have nice collisions and animation. So this has been done using dynamics. Uh, there are no keyframes and uh, there are only two dice and one object. So we're going to see how uh, this can be done. So uh, to get started what I'll do is delete uh, that object and then I, I will delete one dice and put everything to zero to get started okay so if you have modeled the dice then this is what you will have in your scene what we will do is uh, create uh, there, there is dynamics there to my object. So if you go to object, rigid body, remove. So I'll remove the dynamics. So now this is what you will also have in your scene. What we are going to do is add an object, mesh, cube. All right. And then we will scale it long, scale it wide, and scale it in height. Okay, so then we will go to uh, edit mode and we will select the top face and delete it. Hit the delete key on the keyboard and say faces and then we'll select this, delete faces. All right, so we have an object. Uh, it is not wide enough. So we'll go to object mode and make it more white. Okay. We will go to edit mode, edge, and select these two edges. And we will bevel them. Okay, and then in the bevel, we will add a few segments, maybe four. Okay, so now we'll give some thickness to our model. So we'll go to object mode, hit the end key to hide this, and then we'll go to modifiers and we will add a solidify modifier that will add thickness to your board and then you can increase the thickness a little bit uh, you have to apply this modifier so that the dynamics will consider the thickness otherwise it will only consider the outer one as thickness so we'll apply that so now our board is ready so we will have a green color onto the base and then the brown color to the sides for that we'll go to materials add a material make it a brown color if you want a little darker like a wood color and then we will add another material make it green color make it darker Okay, then we'll go to edit mode, select the face, select this face, and we'll assign this material to that face. Okay object mode. So basic modeling is done. Now our cube 
will come out we will leave it there for now and we will add rigid body so if you go to the forces button physics button here we will add a rigid body to the cube and it's going to be an active rigid body we are not doing anything else and then we'll select this one add rigid body and make it passive okay now the other important thing you need to do is under collisions shape you have to use mesh same with the dice use mesh so it will calculate the rigid bodies based on the actual geometry of the objects uh, you can see there are other options like it can be a box sphere capsule cylinder coil and other things uh, so if you have a more complex object you can use a simple uh, shapes uh, like box and sphere and capsule so to speed up the calculations so if we play this thing uh, there is still a wind force there I'll delete that alright so if I'll go back and if you play the cube will fall down okay so it is colliding with your object and reacting to it what we will do is we'll move it to the left shift D click so now we have two of them doing the same thing so we will move them out now what we need is we need someone to throw the dice okay so to do that we will just add a wind force field okay so instead of animating someone throwing the dice we'll just add a wind and the wind will be in the direction of again hit the n key and type negative 90 there so that will be your force field and now the force field strength needs to be high so we will make it 1000 Now these cubes need to be in the back slightly down. Alright. So if you play this now, alright, so because of the wind, the cubes will be thrown and now if you look here they always stick to the side of this uh, board because the wind is continuously pushing it so we need the wind to stop after some time so if you drag your simulation you can see that the dice hits the board at around 35 so at around 35 our wind should die so what I'll do is add a key and type 0 actually it didn't become 0 we'll add, make it 0 add a key and then maybe at 28 it was 1000 so until 128 frames so un until 28 frames the wind is 1 and 28 to 35 becomes 0 so now let us play this okay. so now the other cube is not even reaching the ground so what we will do is reduce the mass of the cube so maybe it is 0.7 so it is a little lighter so it will travel faster okay all right so now our wind is working and the dice is animating now we will look at some other properties to make things little more dynamic so let us look at the board first 
uh, we have a friction and we have bounciness. So we can increase the bounciness of the board and that will make the cubes okay maybe the cubes are little higher up so that the bounce will be better we can move this back I guess it's too high okay so if you play this what we will do is we will select this cube and we'll do the same thing increase the bounciness of this cube select this one and increase the bounciness of this one now why is that one not I think the animated gets selected for some reason the animated should be off okay and now both the cubes are working much better so you can then set up your camera and animate this okay and every time you're going to get the same results because we are having the same numbers you can also look at sensitivity margin which is 0 0.04 so if you increase that to say 0.1 let us see how that one cube reacts with compared to the other one So if you try 0.3 in the sensitivity, okay, now you can see that it is bouncing much more than the other one. So if you put a sensitivity of 0.5 to this one, to the same one point three to this one and point five to this one okay so we don't want the cubes to keep doing stupid things so I think point one is a better number so it will show more weight for the dice and I think that should be good enough okay the other thing you can try to do is simply rotate the cubes so they are not so they're coming with various angle and now it is going on and on for a long time so we can then look at some more properties here uh, we can reduce reduce the bounciness of this we can reduce the bounciness of these guys so so it should not keep happening for a long time that looks better Okay, the other important thing is the damping the more damping you have the less animation you will get okay so damping is like absorbing the motion okay so we will add damping of this also passive does not have damping only the active have damping 
So this has 0 0.2, 0 0.2 of damping rotation. I will do the same thing with this. Okay. And that's about it. You can add cameras and lights and render the animation out.